Any other questions before we begin? That's all good. Covering one, 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 two, one, three. I'm sorry, four, one, one, two, one, four, and one, six. One six assignment up on web sign now. It isn't due, but uh, until later. But uh, take a look at that. One one. Uh, sorry, so the, this uh, this other section here. One six. What's one six? Uh, transformations of functions. I think that's what it was. What we did last time. I mean, not last time, but a week ago. Transformations of functions. That's what's in one six. Circle. It's a lot of things in section 1.1, and uh, the answer is yes. But just like with the quadratic formula, there was one student that said, "Well, uh, I'm going to get a zero in this question. I, I, I just don't know the quadratic formula." So what I did for that student is I, I took off uh, two points and I provided the student with the quadratic formula. So off the top of the seven point question, the most he could get was five, but it's better than you know zero. Um, so so that can happen again if you, if you if you if I ask the distance and you just don't remember the formula, I'll offer up the uh, formula, but I'll take points off. Our midpoint formula. This is between two points. Uh, equation of a circle. Then we have all these equations of lines in section 1.2. There's a bunch of formulas there too. Decide whether the set of ordered pairs represents a function from the set A to the set B. 
Set A is made up of the numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3. Set B is made up of the numbers negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. The ordered pairs are here. And the question is, uh, does it represent a function? Uh, well, we need to be a function. First up, we need to make sure that we use every input. And then, when we use those inputs, we have to make sure that no input goes to two different outputs. Make sure no input goes to two different outputs. And if one and two are satisfied, then we can say it's a function. So, um, zero is used, one is used, the inputs are the A, the outputs are the B. Um, so, uh, zero is used, one is used, two is used, and three is used. But, here it is again, used the second time. It doesn't violate the first one, and it wouldn't violate the second one if they had the same output. But, this is the first output, and here's another output for the same input. It's not a function. And the second question, number two, is just like that. More questions? Our question is, uh, for the test, do you need to know AX plus BY plus C equals zero? That's one of these forms of the equation of a line, and how to go back and forth between the different forms. Yeah, it comes up sometimes. Because the, the second formula assumes that the second So these are, these are three different versions of the equation of a line. You need to know how to handle all three of them and how to go back and forth between them. I'll be specific about which one I'm looking for when I ask for one of them. More questions? No, that was considered the general form. Oh, names? Okay. This is called the general form or standard form. I don't really like standard for that. but uh, yeah, I remember they're calling it two names. It's kind of throwing me off. So it is both names. Unfortunately, no. Oh. X, right? Okay. Yeah, that's what that guy's called. This is point <coughs> slope. This is slope intercept.